Welcome back to 101 Sports. We're in the thick of MLB Oktoberfest with teams swinging for the Commissioner's Trophy. I'm joined by our baseball experts Christian Carmi and Ennis Warlick as we'll take a look at the playoffs so far. Ennis, I want to start with you. Both divisional series are underway, so what's been the biggest surprise so far? So this is no disrespect to all the other divisional series, but Cody Bellinger last night, I mean, he played so well. Um, had, the, had the homer, had the diving catch, um, had the catch where he uh, caught the ball in the dugout, but mm -hmm. the best play of that game was that double, th that, uh, double play he, uh, he made that, where he sort of curved the ball around the runner. It was, it was insane. He, he played so well. Um, he's, a, he's a big young talent for the Dodgers, and I think it's, I think it's a, a good sign of things to come. Yeah, good game for him. Um, honestly, a couple things. Um, first off, high-scoring games throughout the entire Absolutely, playoffs. Yeah. Unbelievable, unbelievable. There's been so many home runs. Um, a couple games have gone eight, nine, like eight to nine, and stuff, stuff like that. It's unbelievable. Um, something that strikes me, there have been two games in which the Nationals have, gone, have had a no-hitter going into the sixth inning and lost both games against yep. the Cubs. I mean, it's, it's a combination of both where the, the Cubs have, like, you know, they've really taken it. Um, they've been good in clutch hitting, um, but it's also kind of the Nationals. Their bullpen is just yikes. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> it's all good. Um, also, the Red Sox starters, they're starting pitching. They were averaging two and two-thirds innings per start. And meanwhile, David Price was averaging three and a thirds inning on per relief appearance. And uh, the, if, you, if you only have Chris Sale and David Price pitching well for that whole series, you, you can't win. A, you can't expect to win a series yeah. like that. So obviously, Cody Bellinger doing what he does, the bullpen for a lot of teams struggling. And it's this one's for you. We're going to start with you. Clayton Kershaw's first postseason win this year, but it was a lot of high powered offense that helped him you know, on the offensive end for the Dodgers. How much do you trust him with that pressure going forward? Anyone that is, t uh, is saying Kershaw is. That, that you just shouldn't trust Kershaw in the playoffs is acting so premature, it's ridiculous. First thing you need to keep in mind is the, the Dodgers offensive attack, like you said, they're hitting on all cylinders right now. And if they're putting up runs, he doesn't have to do necessarily that well. But more importantly, I don't know what alternate universe I'm, I'm living in where, where Clayton Kershaw isn't the best pitcher in the game. Um, take it back to 2016 where he, he dominated the Nationals in game one. Of, uh, of of the divisional of the divisional series, and then and then got um, in game five where he made the save. But wait, there's even more where he was in the was, he was in the Cubs series, and he pitched four times over the course of ten days. Now, of course, he lost that last game, but it's he pitched four times in ten games. That's ridiculous. I think this guy shows up in big moments, and even though he's had sort of a rocky start this uh, this postseason, I think he's going to bounce back. I just think you can't trust him. I, I just think that, I mean, he's been horrible in the playoffs. I mean, regardless of what you do in the regular season in 2016, he's done horrible. He's had what? Well, I just said he did well in 2016, though. And but his career playoff ERA is 4.63 with a win-loss record of 5-7. and seven. If, they don't, if the Dodgers don't completely blow out the other team, you, you can't win with Clayton Kershaw. You can't win with Clayton Kershaw in like a 1-1 a game. You, you can't. You, you can't not let up runs. Well, that's just not necessarily true runs. if I just said that Bellinger was playing great defense. you got Puig that's actually showing up in the playoffs. You've got Turner making diving stops almost every play. I, I don't understand how you can't say you can't trust the best play, pitcher I mean, in baseball. If, I don't know if he's the best pitcher in baseball right now because he, he can't You're pitch saying Clayton Kershaw isn't the best pitcher in the playoffs. He, pitch in in the the playoffs. he literally cannot pitch in the playoffs. Who is better than Clayton Kershaw? Please tell me. Right now? Please tell me. Oh my god. Okay, Chris Sale. Max Chris Scherzer, is better than Corey Kershaw. Kluber, Corey Kluber, Bumgardner. I, I could literally best pitchers argue. all day. Obviously, Clayton Kershaw. <laughs> I can't a little more needs to go in the postseason now. before we can determine whether he's a good postseason pitcher or not. Christian, I'm going to start for you with this one. Last question. The Yankees obviously battled back from 2-0, forced a decisive Game Five against Cleveland. Who's taking that series? I mean, as as well as the Yankees have been played, um, I think I think they have the momentum right now. But I just think if uh, with Kluber on the mound tonight, and you have Andrew Miller available. I just think that that pitching is going to be fantastic. Well, I, it's, I, it's going to be fantastic, but, but, but listen here. Are the, Indians, are the Indians a better team? Yes. yes. Are they at home? Yes. yes. Are they going to win? No. Yes. No, they're oh not going to win. They're How not going to win. Watch. That? Watch. Oh my okay, so Kluber, Kluber, while he's good, he didn't pitch that well in game one. Sabathia That's pitched fine. pretty well in game two. Now they have Sonny Gray coming out of the bullpen which I think is a little bit better role for him. He's, it, it, it lessens the load off of him a little bit. And you also have a role to Chapman in that bullpen. I, I, I just don't see the, 
uh, Cleveland pulling out this. I, I just really don't. I just think Cleveland's going to have a better start to this game, and that's where the, the real key is. If they can't get, if the Yankees can't get off to a good start, they're absolutely screwed. All right, well, check this stat out. Cleveland one in six with their backs against the wall in, in series all time. They're not going to pull this out. I don't care if they're at home anywhere. They're not doing it. Obviously, it's been an interesting series so far. No matter who wins, we can say it was a great divisional series mm -hmm. in the AL. Absolutely. Well, the MLB playoffs are in full swing. The NFL season is just heating up. Stay tuned to see our NFL experts look at the biggest contenders so far.